Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. Before I got into crypto in 2017, there was widespread speculation that XRP will overtake Bitcoin in market capitalization. Who, then, has been making assumptions about this? Since XRP can solve additional Bitcoin-related issues, it's no surprise that bright people all around the world have been debating it. I also can't say for sure if this will occur or not. But it's not unreasonable to ponder if perhaps Bitcoin won't be number one in market cap forever. And if you've been wondering this, you're in good company, could there be a stampede of XRP to the top? In any case, many individuals are optimistic that this will in fact occur. Even if XRP doesn't surpass Bitcoin as the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, it will still make a lot of individuals quite wealthy. I should probably clarify that I have zero experience in the financial sector before we go any further. I'm not here to give you money advice. Furthermore, you should not use what I say as a basis for making any financial decisions. Just a hobbyist here that occasionally posts films to YouTube on various crypto-related topics, check out what Yoshitaka Cattle has to say about it in this quote. As of the year 2019. This joke has been around for a while. The CEO of SBI Holdings Incorporated, however, is he. Very key partner with Ripple, of course, very pro XRP. And he stated quote XRP will probably become the number one crypto asset, we are aiming to make that happen. Again, that's not a guarantee that it will happen that way. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have been the focus of much attention, but it is not implausible to think that a cryptocurrency like XRP, which actually does stuff could end up having a bigger market price because it gives a greater value than Bitcoin. Here's something from a fellow XRP YouTuber, CryptoEddy, that was posted just last night. For the past four years, she has secretly carried around the piece she penned. In February of 2019, we spoke with the CEO of SBI, the largest external shareholder in Ripple. They are working toward his prediction that XRP will become the most valuable cryptocurrency. With the additional legal certainty, this aim is more attainable than before. Note yes. While SBI uses XRP in a number of ways, including as a bridge currency, and while they have embraced ERC-20 tokens with their R3 Japan joint venture, I find it particularly interesting that they mine up to 3% of all Bitcoin worldwide. This, then, was quite a bold assertion. Sure, it packs a lot of extra punch. Not because it is particularly well-known or noteworthy in any other way. And these are bright folks who have amassed incredible money. They are not maximalists, but rather supporters of Bitcoin. They're responsible for up to 3% of all Bitcoin mining worldwide. And here you have the CEO, Yoshitaka, Cattle, despite all that, saying, yeah, but XRP. When he says, number one, he means market leader, he's referring to XRP. Yes. I can't say for certain that that's going to occur, but it's not impossible. The XRP token, in my opinion, is grossly undervalued. At this point, it ought to go without saying. For a long time, XRP was artificially kept down. And now, just now, we're seeing the early stages of XRP jumping up higher, and it's jumping up higher in a way that it wouldn't if it didn't have legal clear, for example, I do believe today that if we didn't have XRP Victory Day on July 13th, XRP's price would be significantly lower than it is today. Now that the law is clear and everything else checks out, you can count on it. So then have a look at this. Kevin Cage, a fellow XRP YouTuber, recently made a post that struck a chord with me. In it, he said, if I listened to all the folks that encouraged me to give up on crypto in the 2018-2020 bear market. I wouldn't have done so well in 2020 and 2021. Even while I share their pessimism in this bear market, I'm not going to listen to those that share it. Since things always seem to work out when you take a step back and look at the big picture, I plan to write out the upcoming cycles here. Because I can relate to this sentiment, people naturally ask me about it. What's what are the strong projects? It's also clear that he supports XRP. That's right on the money, my fellow XRP YouTuber. If we jump ahead to 2023, 
there will be an infinite number of people who will be wishing they had known about XRP. And now look at us, we're simply one of the lucky few to have stumbled into crypto, and more especially XRP, at this very moment in history. Our curiosity was piqued. And now we have arrived at this moment of opportunity. This is an extraordinary chance. And we did end up finding it. It's true that just a tiny fraction of the world's population is in the know, but that's precisely why we have the chance to cash in while everyone else sleeps on the vast, genuinely massive quantities of money that are about to float in. We're in a great place, too, since XRP has a long enough history and widespread enough use that we're not blindly predicting its value from month to month. Right, but how long will this last? Is a year too long to wait? Unlike when it was first introduced a decade ago, we no longer have to worry about that on a monthly basis. It's important to note that well-known pro-XRP attorney John Deaton has denied claims that he predicted the price of XRP would rise to $10,000 and eventually attain Ethereum valuation, as reported by the crypto-basic Deaton Hill's XRP pump as rise of legal utility, but debunks myths attributed to him. To further on XRP's recent parabolic surge, Fallacies note that it has recently broken to one of its highest peaks in the last four months. That's why I can skip the rest of the article without missing much. The most important point is toward the end, so let's not waste any more time. Someone in the XRP community asked, what am I missing? The price of XRP is rising for unknown reasons. He also has the emoji of a smiling face with two hearts instead of one. And you know what? I'm just going to take my opinion for what it's worth, which is probably less than a penny, and give you my I can't say two cents, because it's worth less than a penny. But in my opinion, the news has nothing to do with the recent rise in the price of XRP, which I believe is due to the speculation of investors and the fact that Bitcoin is the market leader. That doesn't mean people don't react to the situation in some way. But if you're wondering what's behind all this, that's all I'm saying. What's Bitcoin that that's what was missing in July when we had XRP Victory Day? A 100% increase in just a few hours, but it seems to have dropped again. For months afterward, Bitcoin was on a downward trajectory, and what was lacking was, you know, a generally favorable environment in crypto. So, yeah, I do believe it is primarily just XRP following Bitcoin, though of course I won't pretend otherwise about the rest of the characteristics. In practice, XRP hasn't been useful. I'm not trying to imply that it is irrelevant. I think a generally optimistic macro climate is what's driving this. But John Dean reposted it because he thought it was a good line, even though it's just my opinion at this point, it's probably just XRP follows Bitcoin. In John Dean's words, I call it the rise of legal utility, which I believe is a fairly apt way of phrasing it. Okay, so XRP came in 2021, just behind Bitcoin. However, it did not reach a new record high since additional P was being targeted. That's why I think what lawyer Dean said here is so brilliant. It's still macro, thus the answer is yes. You need that legal clarity too, or XRP will continue to correlate, but you won't see the large swings that will bring us the life-changing fortune we seek. However, there is now legal clarity around what ought to be. I therefore refer to what John Dean writes as the development of legal efficiency. Totally agree with that statement. Absolutely correct. Someone else, however, used a quote of his in a way he didn't agree with, specifically, a crypto wizard writing as an attorney. I apologize. According to John Deaton, XRP's recent success is due to its increasing legitimacy as a payment method. Once Viet receives the payout for his broken sentence, XRP's market cap will undoubtedly double, and it will eventually surpass ETH market cap. A lawyer named Deaton wanted to set the record straight, so he republished it with the statement, I never said all of this. In today's gas station, I mentioned something called the ascent of legal utility. Simply documenting. I have never spoken of the other things. No way have I ever stated or even hinted that XRP will drop to these levels. Yeah. And so I just thought I'd share that because it's first of all, even even without that clarification, it's just interesting. The phrase, you know, 
The legal utility is one I use frequently and find appealing. They made more sense when put in that context, so here's hoping it takes off. That is a crucial consideration, but I also wanted to give you the rundown on the explanation given. But even so I won't be surprised. I can only speak for myself. Of course, I won't be surprised if XRP is right there with the hypothesis for the number 2 slot. Since this has always been the case during periods of widespread optimism, I will not be surprised. There were, you know, situations like that before. Even though it's been a while, I remember at least three different times when XRP was the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap. That's totally out there in my book. I am aware of how far we are from ETH in terms of market capitalization. Now, but that's because it was suppressed for so long and, you know, all the people who could have been an XRP but aren't now just aren't. You'll need to hire new personnel now that the law is more clear, but everything will eventually even out. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.